CPTSD is the umbrella term for a lot of mental health diagnoses. Possibly 90% of all diagnoses from, from the world of mental health would come under CPTSD. So by definition, BPD is a manifestation of CPTSD. There'll be fight responses, there'll be flight responses, and there'll be fawning responses somewhere in there for the, for the BPD spectrum. Uh, there are emotional flashbacks. This is a response to, to trauma. So BPD is a manifestation of CPTSD is the proper answer. I do understand you. What you're asking me is like, no, I want to create a cosmology in which CPTSD is different or equally balanced to BPD. And I, I, just, I just don't think that that's useful. I don't think it's useful, but you can do it. On my Facebook page, if you go to the Richard Graham Facebook page, somewhere in the photos there, I posted a picture. I got the lady's permission years ago. She wrote this lady, she's not a psychologist. She, she was the victim of violent assault. And she was given these two different diagnoses of BPD and CPTSD. So she actually drew a Venn diagram of where they cross over. It's interesting if you're studying the subject. It's interesting if you're a mental health practitioner. As a person suffering with these things, it won't help you wake up in the morning. One jot, one jot, it won't, it, it, it can't. The only thing that can help you is to start reducing the emotional flashbacks. So when we see, for example, you, you have successful systems of dealing with BPD, like dialectical behavior, behavioral therapy as developed by Marsha Linehan. What does, what's one of the things that, that she uses a tool in that toolbox? Ooh, mindfulness meditation what does mindfulness and meditation do it allows you to think critically about your own thoughts and to challenge them it allows you to lay down some internal boundaries between your thoughts and your feelings and it should soothe and calm a degree of the emotional flashbacks will get will people get better if they start to become more emotionally regulated yes they will once somebody has become emotionally regulated can we start to work on the core trauma that's led to this fear of abandonment. Yes, we can. So it can actually get better as people with CPTSD can. But where the strong delineation between CPTSD and BPD lies, you've got to leave it to the academics. They're still arguing about it. For me, I would just say BPD is part of CPTSD. My personal prejudice, it's a prejudice I have no scientific data for this is yes this is a response to trauma these are actually survival strategies and when we're talking mpd and bpd we're probably more talking learned patterns of behavior that are only relevant in interaction with other human beings than a discrete individualized boundaried fenced off issue within the person does that make sense? I hope it does.